Welcome to the course on design of power electronic converters. So, uh, we were in the module of hardware design and uh, till now we have uh, looked into the different uh, sections of uh, power converters. Then we also got familiar uh, with the various components that are used in power converters. Then we also discussed uh, printed circuit boards and several issues associated uh, with PCBs. Now, in this lecture we are going to look into grounds. Now, let us understand grounds using the example schematic that uh, we have chosen. So, here in this uh, simple schematic let us identify the different grounds. Now, I will use the word references instead of grounds because uh, usually uh, when students hear grounds they have an imagination of earth means the one that is connected to earth or the earthing that is done that is what uh, students relate it with uh, the ground. Ground here does not really means uh, earth ground that is one type of ground, ground is just the reference. Reference here means one point with respect to which you are going to measure another point. So, the first one is uh, here uh, just the power electronic circuit the buck converter. So, it has got uh, this reference. So, this is the first uh, reference the negative rail of the DC bus. So, the first one is the negative rail of uh, DC bus. Well, of course, the bus is actually getting formed here, uh, but the whole uh, uh, converter this buck converter circuit has the reference as the, this uh, one. And then here we have uh, this uh, uh, analog circuit. Now, this analog circuit uh, all the op amps uh, all the uh, signals are with respect to this ground. So, this uh, the symbol that is used here it represents the analog ground. So, these are your analog ground uh, denoted as A G N D. So, let us say this is the second reference or the second ground. So, that is your analog ground. And then over here there is a digital circuit and your digital grounds. So, uh, let us call them as uh, DGND digital grounds. So, the third type of ground here is the digital ground. Now, here uh, only one uh, microcontroller is uh, shown. So, uh, there is only two connections you see here, but uh, in a practical power converter there will be many logic gates may be there many other digital ICs may be there. So, uh, several components may be connected to the digital ground means the reference for the digital circuit that is your DGND. Then further another reference what we see here for the driver circuit is this source. So, this is the fourth one which is the source of the MOSFET because here the MOSFET the whole function of uh, this driver is with respect to this source. So, that is the reference for this driver circuit. So, that is uh, also you can call it as uh, one ground here, but uh, this is not usually taken as a ground because this part is uh, normally floating. So, uh, uh, that is why this is not considered as, as a separate ground type. Then uh, further uh, what uh, we see here is that uh, this is the your uh, isolated it, uh, DC to DC converter which is used to supply this uh, driver IC. 
So, the input of it uh, is this uh, the reference is uh, V minus which is the same V minus which is coming here and uh, that uh, V minus uh, also is connected to all the rest of the power supply IC so which are present here to supply uh, these uh, low power side or the control side components. So, V minus is another reference over here. So, let us uh, say that that is the, the fifth uh, reference the, that is present in this circuit. Further what we see is that there is another reference which is this JC. Now, when we discussed EMI filters uh, we saw that there will be two types of filtering one is your differential mode uh, filtering and it is a common mode filter and common mode filter will be connected to the chassis, chassis ground. So, that is the chassis ground which uh, will be there inside the EMI filter. Now, uh, what is this chassis ground? So, this chassis ground is basically uh, the one point which is connected to the enclosure. So, this is the enclosure the box the metallic box of the power converter uh, which is uh, represented over here by this uh, grey uh, outline. And uh, these ones uh, this uh, brown circles that you, you see are the, uh, the represent the screw. So, this uh, heat sinks, this board and various other components that may be present inside the converter that uh, are usually screwed to that metallic box which is your enclosure. And uh, then finally, at uh, one point uh, all the connections uh, I mean the ground the chassis ground is put. So, that is where your this chassis ground is going to be connected. Now, that is connected to your this uh, metallic enclosure. So, uh, now this uh, then uh, can be for safety purpose may be connected to the earth or may not be connected also. Sometimes it is not, sometimes uh, it is connected. So, that is the chassis ground which is connected to the enclosure of the power converter. So, uh, that is the fourth type of ground is your chassis ground here. So, uh, what we see here is that that there are many different references and uh, some of them uh, which we are calling it as ground. So, those other references also which I, which I have not uh, 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 noted down here, they also if you wish you can call it as ground because they are also some sort of a reference. So, now uh, what we also observe is that, that uh, different grounds are connected as well. Like when we see this uh, uh, analog circuit, uh, what uh, we observe is that uh, all these analog grounds are there, they are connected together, they are supposed to be connected together. Uh, these uh, power supply ICs, uh, uh, they need not be isolated. That means, uh, the input of that and the output of those power supply which is usually this regulated ICs are used where they are non isolated. So, the reference is same. So, that means your V minus and your analog ground A G N D they are supposed to be connected. Similarly, your this D G N D and V minus this reference this is also supposed to be connected. So, that means your D G N D A G N D they are connected to, to the V minus point. And this V minus is further connected to this uh, one which is your isolated power supply IC for the driver. So, like that uh, many point many different types of grounds may be connected, some may be connected, some may not be connected to each other. Now, suppose we have uh, to connect different types of grounds, then how do we connect those different types of grounds? So, usually we have to connect the grounds by star connection. So, if we have uh, this let us say your A G N D ground and then we have this D G N D ground and uh, this uh, point your minus V, if we have to connect it, so then we should 
be connecting this only at one point using a star connection. So, this uh, is the right way whereas, if you connect like this in this manner, so then that is not a good idea because uh, then this has got some impedance over here and this also has got some impedance. So, uh, when you are laying out uh, what will happen is that this point potential and this point potential and this point potential are actually going to become different. Of course, uh, you may say that that uh, the here also the impedances may be uh, different of these uh, three uh, traces that you are using to form the star connection, but uh, you can try to make it as even uh, and equal as possible. Now, uh, if we, there is only one uh, ground point is only one connection point, then it is fine you can have this kind of star connection, but usually uh, if this kind of an analog circuit where there are uh, many uh, points which are supposed to be connected to the analog ground. Um, I uh, had told you before also we use planes or polygons. So, they can be one plane for your or a polygon for analog ground, they can be one polygon for your digital ground and uh, then these two have to be connected uh, in this uh, manner and this V minus point then can be brought out like this. So, this is kind of a star connection which is getting formed it in between them. So, uh, this is uh, what is uh, recommended uh, for your mixed signal circuits uh, PCB layout that mixed signal means when you have both analog and digital uh, types of uh, circuits present together inside the same PCB. Now, you must uh, ensure while you are doing this layout and making the connections that uh, you do not uh, create a second path between any two different types of grounds. So, what I mean by that is let us say there is uh, one IC, let us say this is a digital one and then there is another one which is uh, this is IC number 1, this is IC 2 and this is IC 3. And uh, this is analog, uh, uh, one of them is analog and others are digital. So, if we create a connection like this and uh, then we created connection to this point. So, and then further we created another path for it via like this. So, let us say this is your DGND, this is your analog ground and this is again your digital ground. So, now this kind of formation is called as the ground loop. That means, there is no, uh, there is not just a single path between two types of grounds but there are uh, uh, multiple paths, there is a second path uh, between two types of grounds. Now, this is uh, uh, I mean undesirable, it should be avoided. Now, uh, what is the reason that ground loops uh, should be avoided? Let us look into it. So, let us say there is a digital circuit and there is some kind of uh, load uh, that is impedance. Uh, which is represented here and there is another part of uh, in the same PCB is the analog circuit and that is another also impedance which is uh, denoted here. Now, uh, initially uh, suppose uh, this is not present. So, this is cross uh, this is not present. There is only single path between these two types of grounds. So, this is your uh, digital ground and this is your analog ground. Now, let us say the current that was flowing here was uh, I D, I digital and uh, the same current is supposed to return that is your I digital. And here uh, the current that was flowing was I analog in this circuit and the return current was uh, uh, your uh, needs to be same that is your I A, I analog. Now, if there is this path is not there, there is only a single point connection uh, between them, only single path is present between them. You know that no current can flow through this. So, whatever was flowing here I D the same will be returning and I A whatever was flowing here the same will be returning. 
So, the digital circuit and the analog circuit are not going to interfere with each other. Now, let us say there is another connection path. There is not single path uh, between uh, your two types of grounds, there is another path somehow getting formed by some means. So, uh, let us remove it and now you have to note down that this has got an impedance, this path has got an impedance of let us say Z1 and this path has got an impedance of Z2. So, now when the currents will be flowing this ID current will come here and uh, it has uh, got uh, what we see here there are three paths here. Now, let us say that over here the current that flows is I n and uh, here uh, another current which is I n dash which is flowing and uh, so what will be returning here will be I d dash. So, uh, what uh, we can write is that by KCL that I d plus I n dash uh, will be equal to I n plus I d dash. Now, why uh, this I have written as I n and I n dash because note down that uh, the impedances are going to be different because there are two different two paths through which the connections are getting formed in the PCB. So, now, uh, 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 what will uh, happen? What we can write is that your I d minus I d dash will be equal to your I n minus I n dash. Now, let us look into this circuit. So, the current that uh, was flowing here your I a. Now, here uh, there are uh, two com currents uh, I n coming in and I n dash leaving at this node and so the current that uh, then returns let us call it as I a dash. So, what uh, we can write uh, further is that your I a plus I n is going to be equal to I a dash plus I n dash. So, now what we see is that I a minus I a dash this is equal to I n dash minus I n uh, which is uh, this uh, difference you can see that is equal to I d dash minus I d. So, from this what uh, we understand is that this difference between your analog currents what comes in here and what returns is uh, related to the difference of uh, currents in uh, what comes in and what returns uh, in the digital circuit. So, the noise of the digital circuit has now entered into the analog circuit. So, now the digital circuit will then start interference uh, with the performance of the analog circuit and so this is undesirable. So, that is why we should not have a multiple paths uh, between two different types of grounds there should be only single uh, path should be there ground loops need to be avoided inside a PCB. So, we have to be very careful in doing the layout of grounds. Now, this was all about the PCB grounds. Now, when uh, you have a power converter you may not necessarily be having only one PCB you may be having multiple PCBs and when you want to test it uh, or use it then different types of equipment or appliances may be connected uh, to the power converter. So, how they are connected? Those connections can be also drawn in a schematic and that is called as the wiring diagram. Wiring diagram is simply just uh, the representation of the different connections that are there between different uh, types of equipment or appliances uh, that may be there in a, uh, in a setup. So, here one example is uh, shown here uh, uh, this you can see here that is a three phase outlet where three phase is coming in then there is a three phase rectifier which is going to rectify and create a DC and then that DC is connected to a three phase inverter. 
Now this three phase inverter is connected to the three phase load. So, these are the three connection connectors uh, that you can see. Now, this three phase inverter uh, will have the drivers and also it, it is having the sensors inside it. So, all those sense signals uh, uh, will be going to uh, are going to this board which is called as the interfacing and power supply board. And you can see here that uh, there is uh, two connections CON1 and CON2 which are connected to each other. And uh, what we see here is that uh, this are mainly carrying the PWM gate pulses and, and some other digital signals associated in the power supplies uh, associated uh, with them. And then further we see here there is another one the board which is digital controller and then there are two connectors uh, uh, which are connecting the digital controller and uh, this interfacing and power supply board is CON4 and CON3 and it has got various digital IOs and analog inputs pin in it. And this here single phase outlet uh, this is uh, giving the power supply to this board. So, we see all here so many connections are there. Now, here as well you have uh, to uh, check uh, how the grounds are connected or what are all the different references that are present in your entire experimental setup or the experimental connections that you are forming. For example, here you can see that uh, this is this ground is connected between this board and uh, this your interfacing and power supply board. Further what we see here is the same ground which is con uh, between your connection 3 and connection 4 between these two and there is ground connection also over here uh, which is going. So, you have to see whether there is a possible ground loop that is getting formed because of this PCB why are these other external connections of grounds uh, that are present. So, that you have to be very careful about. So, not, uh, if not inside the PCB, if externally through some uh, connections and through some cables if any ground loop is getting formed or not, that is what you can uh, check uh, through the wiring diagram. Apart from that, uh, ground loops may also be uh, getting formed uh, through the electrical outlets which have got the earth points uh, in them. So, how that can happen? Let us look into it. So, uh, let us say this is uh, one component. So, this component here does not mean your uh, some IC or uh, one device inside the PCB. This is a whole box uh, uh, means uh, there is a let us say a PCB inside it which is represented by this triangle and uh, this uh, gray box is what is, is the enclosure of that uh, uh, component or the equipment. And it is uh, getting the supply from this electrical outlet. And uh, this is the earth uh, or the ground uh, which is connected here and this ground is then electrical outlet is what is connected to the earth. And uh, then there is uh, another uh, component here which is receiving some of the signals from this component 1 and this S and R are which are uh, sending those signals. And uh, here also this is getting its supply from one electrical outlet and the enclosure of this, this gray box is what is uh, the enclosure representation that is connected also to the ground. Now, if suppose this uh, uh, is a cable which is let us say is a shielded cable. So, if it is uh, using a shielded cable, so that shielded cable is usually going to be connected to the ground. So, uh, what uh, it means uh, from there is that uh, that these two enclosures are also getting connected uh, via this uh, shielded cable. So, then what uh, uh, we observe is that that if uh, uh, we see that there is a ground loop that is getting formed via the uh, this uh, ground wire the earth wire we can say that. So, here uh, what we see is that this uh, green wire it comes here and uh, through the enclosure because the enclosure is metallic. So, it, it gives path for current to flow it is it is a conducting uh, material. So, then uh, the these two are then connected and so the ground current can flow and then it can go to the second component. So, then what we see is that if there is any interference 
and that interference induces a voltage in this wire. So, what will happen is that it will uh, enter into component 1, it will travel to component 2 because of uh, this uh, connection that is there, a the ground loop that has formed. So, uh, that is what is undesirable ground loop not necessarily is going to get formed by your PCBs or the connection of different PCBs, it can also get formed by the connection of your uh, the way you are connecting to the electrical outlet and further whatever other cables that may be connecting to other components uh, in the uh, in the vicinity. Further another example of a ground loop problem is that let us say there is an appliance, let us say it is a motor which is having some common mode currents in it. So, those common mode currents are going to find their path uh, through this uh, uh, ground wire. Now, uh, if again uh, these two are connected, this component 1 and component 2 are connected by uh, this uh, 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 ground connection. Then uh, what will happen is that it uh, this uh, uh, which was uh, first uh, just was straight coming to the earth this current, this current which was just simply coming to the uh, earth, now it has got an another path through it, it has got a second path uh, because of uh, this connection. And so, now uh, again the impedances are going to be different for each one of them. So, some part of this current will then enter over here and so whatever was the common mode noise of this motor that will start affecting component 1 and component 2 as well. So, that is why uh, ground loops one has to be very very careful for um, uh, it may disrupt uh, the functioning of your power converter and so from very beginning you should pay attention to whether any kind of ground loop via any means is getting formed or not. So, the key points of this lecture are that there are different types of grounds present in a power converter and uh, you need to uh, connect grounds very carefully and take all measures so that ground loops are avoided. Thank you.